this episode. 10 ways to cool down the second floor of your home. Well, folks, it's the dog days of summer, and we thought we might do an addition, an additional show on cooling down the second floor of your home. Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. Thanks for listening to another edition of the Handyman Pros Radio Show, where our goal is to help save you time, money, and aggravation on your home maintenance and repair. This edition is entitled Cooling 10 Ways to Cool Down Your Second Floor. And to help me explain, I'm here with Mr. Cool Down himself, Mr. Mr. Johnny, second Floor. Mr. Second Floor. <laughs> it's only in prison. Anyway, yeah, second uh, floor, man. <laughs> Johnny, what, what's been going on this week? Anything exciting? Have we? Do we have a good story from this week? Um, from, from this week, um, I am working on a, um, I would have had it done already, but I've, I don't have the time because of other personal things, but I'm working on neighbor's outdoor kitchen, if you will. Fun. Yeah. Fun. Retiling it. And, um, so it's, it's coming out, it's coming out fine. Everything's, everything's under control. (laughs) 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 <laughs> nothing's nothing's out of control yet right. everybody's got all their their fingers and yeah. their eyeballs so yeah you know all the cement board that's a that's that's a a wonderful thing to cut um, yeah I, i'm not i yeah i mean it's just so it's there's messy. so there's a cut listen that, that there's a couple of ki- kinds of, of cement board that i see one yep. is the old style that with with its kind of cloth you know with the clock with, with, the, with the yeah. mesh on it with the mesh on it yep yeah yeah and then you've got the hardy stuff yep and that's a true solid cement type of thing where you can't you can't just slit it with a uh, a utility knife and break it like wallboard <laughs> no you have to <laughs> you gotta cut it, cut it. <laughs> yeah. so you need either a special circular saw blade or you've got to use your grinder which is really no it, it, and oh man they're just yeah, it's no. messy it it's is it, it, so it's all outdoors thank goodness um, yeah, but holy that. smokes, you know, I mean, Johnny, it, it sounds like work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, but it's no. the lungs, but, uh, yeah. So anyways, anyway, all right, folks, before we get started, we would like to ask you to like, and subscribe to our channels, both on YouTube and on whichever podcast source that you are listening. Also give us a review. It really helps get the word out. We're yes. just trying to, to get our algorithms up and pumping so that people can people that are interested in this stuff can get a hold of us. All right, let's roll on. We were talking about cooling off your second floor of your home. This is, this is kind of an addendum to, we did a show on HVAC, uh, a little, not too quite so long ago, but this was when I got thinking about this as a second floor. Cause it's it's different, you know, upstairs, downstairs and, and some of the things. And actually, I was in one of my customer's house and I go upstairs and it's just roasting. I mean, and roasting. And I'm like, why is it so hot upstairs? Well, if they had been implementing many of these tips, they wouldn't have had these issues at little or no cost. We're going to leave it at that. So first things, John, is I know it seems simple, but have your HVAC system checked out, right? Call a tech, have them, have them do a quick tune-up. They'll do all the stuff they need to do, right? They'll check the the uh, coolant levels and the and the filters and all that kind of thing. They'll make sure everything's working, right? That's one thing. What's the other addition to that? We talked about this on the last show. Well, you know, I think it's I think one of the things that you need to to be aware of is. You know the, the the condition of your the, the filters obviously in in, yep. in your HVAC system. I mean, yep. if, if 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 things have drastically changed, yes, then 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 that's a that's a big red flag. Okay, so if you let's, have tomato zilla, you need to do. This next point. <laughs> yeah, Larry's got a massive tomato plant growing up the side of his house. That's growing it's, over the top. Of yeah, my HVAC <clears> it's right? like it looks like the it looks like the thing. <laughs> It's it looks like the thing in Antarctica, man. This thing is <clears throat> something else. <clears throat> but it is get, growing up get near to my HVAC unit. Huh? Yeah, it's growing up over my HVAC units. I've had to trim it off the HVAC unit. Yeah, to keep yeah. The well, okay, well, you, the, you know, the, there's a good... The cool yeah, that's right? that's something folks to watch out for is to uh, to get everything away from your, your HVAC units. Don't yeah. grow stuff around them like, like a uh, <clears throat> electrical a box in your front yard. <clears throat> man. 
I need to I need to put a picture of that tomato. That, yeah. it is, I, I sent this. So, it's, folks, I have a this literally I call them to weeds and they're to weeds because we compost and coming out of our compost, we get these tomato plants. And these are a wild. I guess they're, they're wild. Me it's a wild yeah. tomato plant. They 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 grow really, really well and they grow really. They're very prolific this year. They've been hugely prolific, man. We got so many tomatoes anyway. Be that as it the, there's the, they're the cherry tomatoes, right? They're cherry tomatoes. Yeah. They're little, and this they're thing little is, tomatoes. this thing's on the whole wall, man. I, this is like, wow. Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's gotten to be, it's one plant <laughs> it's a, and it's easily eight feet across and it's gr- starting to grab a hold of the house and the HVAC. And it's just, <laughs> I call it this, the attack of the killer tomato plant, you know, it literally is, but I don't want to really cut it back. Cause it's been, it's, it's still, it's producing a tremendous amount of fruit. So what are you going to do? Right. I mean, you're kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't, but I have trimmed it off of the HVAC units. So don't let any dirt and gunk get in on your, on your outside units. You got to keep that. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 my point is, you know, if something happens drastic, you know, hey, everything was fine last year, and then this year, uh, man, it's right. hot up there. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you got something. Something's something, something's going on. <clears throat> something's going on. Um, one one thing that could be going on is is check your check your ductwork. Hey, number one, I know th- these are s- some of these things are really simple, right? But how dirty is your ductwork? Has something come unattached, which does happen usually in crawl spaces, but it can, it, even upstairs in the second floor, if your HVAC unit is downstairs or up in the attic, either way, a duct can come unattached and lo and behold, you will not get the airflow that you need or the dirt. They can be extremely dirty, although I would think that would be a really, really old system. Um, so you just want to check it, you know, if you haven't maintained it in a while. Um, uh, well, look, I'll add this. Um, a lot of times that the duct work uh, can come unattached if they didn't secure it correctly with the, the, the that uh, the HVAC tape. Yep, with tape. Right? Um, so I've I've experienced that. <clears throat> and so if people I. don't, if 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 they didn't do it correctly, which you know it it happens. It happens. Um, you know, and over the years with the heat and everything in your attic and stuff like that, if your air handler's in the, in the attic like mine is and it's coming through, take yep. a look at if there's a duct that's that's blowing cold air right up into the attic. You're up into the attic, yeah. Uh, and you know, and it sounds and, and, simple, but it, it well, it is simple, but it, it happens. I'll tell you the other thing to look for too is vermin. So if you have mice or squirrels, they'll chew through those duct some of that ductwork, which creates a big leak. And you need, you know, you need to be aware or, well, and the other thing that happens is that expansion and contraction, because that's what happens. Yep. This stuff does this all day long, that older ductwork, particularly if it's the flexible variety can get holes in it. So, you, and you, it's simply done. You take good duct tape, get good duct tape, don't get cheap duct tape, go get some good duct tape and tape it. And that lo and behold, it'll, it, it can help, right? It can help. It can help. Um, all right. What's another way, Johnny? These go back to old. This is old school stuff. Now we're doing old school stuff, right? Fans, right? Well, I I use a fan. I use a fan up here. Um, I've got a floor fan <laughs> that yeah. that I use. Um, and I'll tell you, there's there's certain areas that the ductwork was not um, sized properly. Yeah. Um, and it's not really a big deal. It doesn't really make a that big a difference, you know. Um, you know, it's nothing that I'm going to go up there and change it, but I will say that, um, you know, during a really hot day, really it's hot down, stuff, a, it's yeah. down a hallway into the master bathroom. Yep. Yep. Um, and I just put a floor fan. We've got a fan and I like to sleep with a fan on anyways. I don't know. I just turned the thing around and just let it blow all the cool air from the bedroom down this hallway, down the hallway. Yep. Perfect. It's- a lot done, of it's about, done, yeah, no, no problem. Everybody's airplane, happy. Right? You know, it's 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 great. No, no big deal. It just helps out a little bit. Uh, you know, it, which and, goes hand in hand with you know, uh, ceiling fans too. Ceiling fans, same thing. So you know, if you think about it, if you go back a hundred years ago, before air conditioning was a was truly a big thing, all like in the South, almost all homes had a had a ceiling fan, and and some in the north had ceiling fans. He, and Johnny and I both grew up in the north, so we kind of we kind of get it. You know, our our house growing up in the north did not have air conditioning. No, nope. um, and well, I didn't and either. I'll I'll actually number ten is actually how we solved the heating problem, but we'll get to that when we get to number ten. Um, but uh, um, you know, in the south, they all had uh, ceiling fans. 
hands and they do work. I mean, just moving that air around and it just makes you feel cooler. You know, yeah. it just makes you feel cooler. And so it does work. So it helps. And in the, in the least amount of case, it helps to give your AC a boost. It's an inexpensive way to give your AC a, a, to make it work longer, basically. So here's another one back to Johnny's point is just keep your interior doors open. Right. So in John just said it, he puts that hall fan in there and blows the air down into the bathroom. That's kind of a hot spot because it's down at the end of the house. Right. And so that that fan, he leaves you leave the door open. Right, Johnny? Yeah, I mean, just, yeah, we've got doors that lead into this hallway, and I just yeah. leave it open. But, you know, it's, it's it's surprising how, you know, cold air likes to, you know, it's going to be hanging around the floor. So if you've got a <laughs> fan on the floor, um, exactly. you know, it just it just picks it up and just moves it down the hallway. And everybody, yeah. you know, like I said, everybody's happy. I It's, it's so, yeah, use it. I, I, you know, I'll, um, I'll add that. I don't know if it's on if it's on your list, uh, Larry. But you know, insulation in the attic. Yeah, yeah. It's I, it's, it's check your attic. It's. I mean, uh, yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's really simple. Yeah, but all right. So the next one is is and this is this is like if I go in my father in law's house, aka the dungeon. Um, <laughs> he, he does this. Oh. Also, <laughs> closes, <laughs> she the puts blinds. the lotion in the basket. <laughs> what are you talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> good lord no john it's god <laughs> he's he's, he's living with a, a, a real life uh, buffalo <laughs> bill or... oh yeah there's a good one thanks no he he keeps all his uh blinds down and <laughs> oh, blinds god, curtains, even... right? <laughs> okay and, and or you know add solar film to some of those windows that are really like you know southern facing right if you want to call that, it that. Is a great tip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I it will. Works. I will tell you that. Um, go investigate um, window film, and you yes. might not see it um, at the big box stores. You will see theirs. They'll they'll have like the 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 Gila ones and stuff like that. Um, but if you take it up a notch, you can find. Uh, not even tinted, okay? It might be clear, but it'll knock out um, all the kinds UV. of UV rays yep. Yep. Uh, that can be put on your windows. So yep. it's your choice of, you know, tinted or not, but it's it's really, there's, I, I just went through this. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it, there's uh, some good film out there and that's a, that's a good tip because I've been in homes with those windows that are uh, southern facing, or you know west yeah a lot of bright a lot of sunlight. yeah i mean it is brutal oh, it's brutal, it's brutal. And i'll tell you there's there's an additional um an additional benefit to that it will reduce the amount of sun fade that you have on anything that's in absolutely front of those so we're really cognizant of that here in the south because it's so absolutely it's such I, a fact you know, one of my recommendations to one of my customers they had two windows in their living room and it was a like a two-story uh, living room, but the windows are way up there, and the way sun was just be blasting Beating through these through. things. Yep. Yep. I'm like, you know, just get up there and put some film on them. Yeah, you can do film or or get a mo get a motorized shade. You know that you can or that that you, that you get a remote and you can drop it down in the afternoon or whatever you need to yep. do because it's really it really can be brutal. Anyway, um, so anyway. That that's I know that's old school, but and it seems like common sense, but common sense is not common. Well, anymore, it's a like it's a say. it's a more of an inexpensive way to to cure the ills. Yes, right, so. right, exactly. Because doing some of these other things, changing out your old HVAC system, or adding <laughs> that's a, split, yeah, that's all. Yeah, now we're talking about the story. Yeah, you're into some serious serious money. And plus, you do again with these shades and window frames, you get some additional benefit of cutting UV light out. So this one is another one that's really really that simple. Um, turn off your lights. I mean, unless you're using all LEDs, which are low heat, light bulbs add significant heat. Yeah, they're going to be about 140 degrees or whatever those things, you know, coming out of there. So I agree. And, I changed mine out. I changed mine out. It makes a, it made a huge difference. difference. Yeah. Plus you're not spending as much energy also if you go to LEDs, but be that as it may, if you don't, if you're not using all LEDs, turn, you know, keep the lights turned off. I mean, these are things that in my house growing up, all this stuff was just normal. Yeah, right? that was, yeah. You know, plus whatever. Or you get your butt kicked. 
Yeah, basically, right? Yeah, and the old man's like, you pay the power <laughs> bill? Yeah. Yeah, right. right. Uh, you, know, you, know, you will blah, this blah, blah. month. But, um, <laughs> you will this month. That's right. Keep the lights on. So uh, so if, if those things don't work, then I th- we can, you know, you can always consider a window unit, right? So you can put a, do some zone cooling with a window unit. They do work. We, we just put one in, we have a, a, down in my mother and father-in-law's place where we stay a portion of the time they have a, um, it's a bone, a bonus room, which is a room above the garage and it honest bonus rooms, folks, if you don't know what they are, are generally awful spaces to live in because they're cold in the wintertime and hot in the summertime. Cause you have this great big open space underneath it called the garage and air flows in under there and if hot or cold either way. And there's no way to really HVAC it well, but we had to put a window unit in there because it would be 110 at night. And it was crazy. It's crazy when we were trying to stay down there. So we put a window unit in just for that room and that fixed everything up. Plus or a mini up. split, right? Well, yeah, or you can do a mini split and mini, I, I put mini splits under down here um, in number nine. We've got do a zone. We'll just get into it. We'll do a zone, um, have two zones. If you don't have two zones already, add an additional zone and you can add an additional zone with a mini split really easy. A mini split is a, is a very small um, heat pump type unit. Well, they can get pretty big, but anyway, you can look them up. Great technology, super efficient, very inexpensive, pretty easy to put in. Um, and they can, and they retrofit to almost everything. Now they don't do a whole huge amount of area, but they do really work when you want to put them out. So that's yeah, that. without, and here's um, the, and here's and then the, we were talking the, about Johnny was mentioning checking your, um, it, well, let me, let me back you up. Your the, the, attic. Yeah. Let right? me back you up. There's the, the reason, the reason so, Johnny, that you I want to run with that one. Huh? The, the, Do you want to run with the check your attic one? Yes. So what should we be looking for in an attic? Um, the thing, the thing about the attic is that if that insulation in the attic is underneath those rafters or it's thin, brother, you need insulation. <laughs> yeah. Are you, now you're talking about. Uh, bat insulation or are you talking about either way ho- yeah hollow film yeah either kind of it's true it's kind of either way. either way but if it's below the rafters man i i am telling you um I, I i did it here um blew in insulation up there and filled it up it changed the whole house changes the whole changed house. the whole yeah. second floor yeah uh, I, I i can't tell you how how it i mean i've told this story before if i walked downstairs it would be cold you know, from the AC, I'd come yep. back upstairs and I'd hit a, a heat wall. Heat wall, yep. Um, for years, and I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't drive the temperature up here. If it got really hot, I couldn't drive the temperature in the second floor to, let's say, Livable. seventy-four. I, I couldn't <laughs> even. I couldn't get it down to seventy-four and on its best day. Um, once that happened, yeah. no, no issues again. That'll cost you a little bit of money, but that money pays for itself. Uh, it paid it, for it itself. Pays for itself it, in rapid order. It really well, does. Both not, in heating and cooling. In both and sides. and utility. Just and, just from just from mean. using it. <laughs> just from utilities. Yeah, just from utilities. It's kind of a kind of a. It's not a hard job. It's kind of moderate. You know, it's messy. I will say that. Um, just depending on how you're doing it. But anyway, it's definitely worth it. One other thing too on your attic is make sure your attic has good ventilation as well. So attics are one space that do need to breathe. Yep. So you need air coming in through the soffits or out on the edges and going out through the roof, right? Seems simple. But if, if that air isn't freely moving in there, it's going to contribute to the heat. And there's a couple of different ways to get that heat out of there. You can put a power fan in, although you don't need to, but it just depends on the specifics and we could get into it, but we're not going to. Um, but the bottom line is, is there needs to be clear access. There needs to be a way for air to exit the roof somewhere at the peak is what it is. And there's multiple different ways to do that. But if it's not functioning, you will get excessive heat buildup in the second floor. Um, Last but not least, this is what we actually did at our house because my dad was not putting in an air conditioning system in our house. We lived downstairs in the summertime. (laughs) That is what we did growing up. I I can't tell... I can't tell you how many times that I, re- in, when I was in Chicago, that when it got hot in the summer and right. we didn't have AC, right. that we would retreat to the basement. Basement, yep, yep. And brother, those the way homes were built in the 50s, those basements weren't to be lived in. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, <laughs> it's just a fact. You know, I mean, so I mean we everybody, everybody, you know, in the neighborhood threw a piece of carpet down there and built a tiki bar and said, great, um, back then. But, you know, it's, it, it's, they're, they're usually pretty damp. They're pretty, yeah. it's, they're, they're not built like they are today, um, before the codes and everything changed, but it was cool. It was cool. And it was, uh, our house was, uh, we moved into one of the old sections of our home, which was basically old meaning 1812. And for whatever reason, there was this one section of the, uh, one room in particular that would always stay cool. I never did really figure it out. Don't really care, but it always stayed cool. And that's where we'd sleep. We'd sleep in that room and it was always cool. But yes, move into the basement. Now it, in those situations, John, I don't know what it was like in Chicago, and Chicago was actually hotter than Rochester, but we only ever had really two weeks a year that were really unbearable. It I mean, was unbearable. more than that. It was the summer. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it it gets pretty damn hot there when it, I mean, <laughs> and <laughs> conversely cold, but, you know, <laughs> um, leave that for another day. But yeah, I, I mean, we used to retreat down there. I'm like, I, I can't take that. I can't take the heat. Yeah, no I matter what. Yeah. I used to lay on the floor on the first floor, you know, it was a ranch. So it was a, right. the top floor with a fan at my feet yep. on the floor. I couldn't get cool. I just remember yep. that as a kid. I was yep. just. That and, was, now we're dating ourselves. And then, and, and then my dad put in a window shaker, you know, window unit <laughs> to cool the whole yep. house. Yep. <laughs> so. <laughs> And so, and to, and to kind of give some historical perspective, not that it matters that much, but it, but it does. When we were growing, that was in the seventies, right, Johnny? And yeah, I don't 60s remember and 70s. 60s and seventies. And I mean, just to give you say, well, why wouldn't you just put an air conditioner in? Well, back in the day, back in those days, those window units, I remember my dad paid $400 for the window unit in upstairs in our upstairs rooms. It yes, was sir. 400 bucks each. And in those days, you got to put it in perspective. You say, oh, it's $400. That's not so bad. Well, the last <clears throat> one I bought here was $200. And, <clears throat> and that was an a dollar cost average. I mean, that was like $25 bucks back then. You know, $400 was a lot. Sorry, I've got a leg cramp right now, so I'm moving back. But anyway, $400 was a boatload of money. That was two, Oh, three you weeks got that of, right. And, and you know what? That, that window unit was in our... <laughs> We he we put that in the living room. Yeah, of course. Well, it, that way, wasn't in the pounds? bedrooms. Like Ten thousand. That wasn't in the Go bedroom, on. so everybody had to sleep in the house with the with their bedroom doors open because yep. I mean, otherwise you were dying. I mean, yep. and then yep. and then my, my my one of my best friends he lived across the street got a he got his own window unit for his his uh, bedroom. I was like, oh, dude, you're living yeah. high, man. Yeah, that's Jeez. high the hog. Yeah. Oh, man. But anyway. that's, the, that's the perspective, folks. You got to understand in those days, back in those days, uh, uh, I mean, that was like two or three weeks worth of pay to get a window unit. And it's not like it is today where it's, you know, two or three hours worth of time, which is a vastly different. So, I mean, but uh, yeah, I remember the, well, never mind. Our first microwave was probably 300 bucks. <laughs> I remember seeing an, 800, <laughs> an $800 calculator, John, yeah. that did oh, addition, yeah. subtraction, multiplication, and division. And that was it. Yep. And that was in 1972, I think. And I was just like, wow, that's cool, man. I want that for school. Like I said, it's <laughs> yeah, 800 like bucks. It. I was like, yeah, I don't think so, you know. <laughs> That was like almost a year's worth of pay at the time. Anyway, so, all right. We digress. With that, with that, yes, we digress. With that, Johnny, the spaceship has landed. Do we look at it or do we take it apart? I, I've lost my witty spaceship. You analogies. lost your, you lost your witty, your witty spaceship. I've lost my, lost my edge, man. I gotta get out. I don't back know, out. Larry, but when they brought you aboard, that they had the curtains drawn, though, did they? <laughs> Which curtain? Yeah, they, yeah. that's the question. Just the one around the yeah. exam table. Weren't you yeah. on the table next they, to me? They, they told you to put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Down there's Larry in the well. <laughs> All right, folks. All right, with that, folks. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you want the inside track on what these jokes actually mean, by the way, watch Silence of the Lambs. You'll get. You'll get. You'll get it. Uh, never a dull moment here at the Handyman Pros Radio Show. All right. 
did I say questions at handymanprosradioshow.com if you have any questions, comments, or concerns? Yeah, I think I said that. Johnny, take us home, baby. All take right, us home. folks. Listen, for the remainder of the summer, stay cool. Check, check all the things that we are talking about here. Hopefully that's going to help you. Stay safe this week. We'll see you next time on the Handyman Pros Radio Show. Mm-hmm.